The third law of thermodynamics is least used among the laws of thermodynamics. It says that the entropy of the pure crystal becomes zero at absolute zero temperature or zero degree Kelvin. The crystal must be perfect, else there will be some inherent disorder. It also must be at zero Kelvin, otherwise there will be a thermal motion within the crystal which leads to disorder. A pure crystal is a substance in which all the molecules are perfectly identical and the alignment of molecules with each other is perfectly uniform throughout the substance. As per the third law of thermodynamics, when such a substance is cooled to zero degree Kelvin, all the movements of all the molecules stop completely and the entropy of the substance becomes zero. This is an ideal condition. In actuality, there is no substance which has all the molecules identical and no movements of the molecules are perfectly uniform. Hence, in practical cases, at absolute zero, the entropy is not zero. Its value is above zero. This also means that the value of entropy can never be negative. One version of the third law states that it would require an infinite number of steps to reach absolute zero, which means you will never get there. If you could get to the absolute zero, it would violate the second law. Because if you had a heat sink at absolute zero, then you could build a machine that was 100% efficient. Scientists have used various techniques to reach absolute zero, but it is impossible. They are able to reach a temperature of about 500 nano Kelvin above absolute zero. That's the closest we have gone so far. So, recalling the third law again, the entropy of a perfect crystal is zero when the temperature of the crystal is equal to absolute zero Kelvin. To sum up, we learnt about absolute zero, defined third law, how materials might behave at absolute zero. That is all about third law of thermodynamics.